All righty. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to having the most recent multi-fight signed fighter to Misfits Boxing. Please welcome Small Spartan J. Now listen, I've actually, Wag you know what's crazy? Wan. Yeah, Wagwan. You know what's crazy, yes. right? I've been I've been actually wanting to have you have you on for a little bit. And you know, I want I want to ask like what is your journey um through social media and just in general? I just want to hear your story, you know, to the people who might not know about you. Uh in what sense? Like I was um I grew on social media because I became a world world champion in calisthenics. Okay. So it's like it's freestyle calisthenics, so it's basically like parkour and gymnastics, but on a steel hard solid bar outside on the street with concrete floor, bro. So <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's pretty extreme. It's like one of the extreme sports, but I, I became a uh, two-time world champion, three-time UK champion, and I traveled the world, Russia, Ukraine, Poland, Egypt, Africa, bro, everywhere you can possibly imagine. And I, I won pretty much all the, all, the, all the competitions in that sport. So I, I inspired people to start working out by just using their body weight. That's that's how I ended up getting my followers uh, all over social media. Um, I end up getting my physique, my mindset for just training calisthenics in general. So I just, I just here to inspire people. G. Fuck yeah, man, that's that's awesome. And what 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 is the what is your favorite country that you've been traveled to? You know, because you said you traveled to multiple countries doing it. What are you some know of the favorite what, countries you've been through? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty, I'm pretty bougie now. So like, <laughs> um, my favorite country, I got two. So okay. I love LA. I love LA. And All right, Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I went to LA like a few months ago. No, Los Angeles is dope. I love it. Uh, it, it's great seeing seeing me seeing people and meeting people. Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. You know. Do you what know I mean? what it is? There's just so many like-minded people in LA mm -hmm. and in Dubai. They they do, yeah. they like everyone is basically self-employed pretty much. Um, That's what's up. Mm -hmm. And they all they all know how to hustle, man. Especially in in Dubai, they all know how to fucking hustle, bro. So. I kind of dig that, you know. That's what's up. Yeah, I. What is it? I, I've had a lot of people tell me about Dubai and stuff. I, I, I've seen pictures of it. Dubai seems dope. I'd love to go to Dubai one day. I know. It's is very it, dope. Bro. Don't, don't they have like? Um, I heard from someone that they don't have like any tax. You don't have to pay any taxes in Dubai, or like no like taxes, that. bro. That's crazy. That's no taxes crazy. whatsoever. You can make as much money as you want. You don't have to pay tax. That's fucking crazy to think about. No, I mean, no, um, there's no business taxes. I think, I think there's no business taxes, but there's no, you don't have to pay anything, bro. Anything. But trying to open a bank account there is pretty much impossible. You have to have a citizenship card over there. Totally. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, you're talking about a little bit about your uh, calisthenics, you know, journey and everything. What kind of like got you to start doing calisthenics? Um, Long story, bro. Uh, yeah. long, story short. Let, long story <laughs> short. Let me cut it short quickly. So mm -hmm. when I was younger, I was pretty into some real hard shit, like London gang life, selling drugs and, and just doing too much stupid shit when I was mm -hmm. younger. I'm now yeah. 28, boy, just in case people thinking, oh, he looks young. I'm 28 right now. So mm -hmm. um, I nearly done jail time. Um, so I really needed to get big. I really needed to get big and buff. And I didn't really enjoy the gym. The gym in general, the environment of it, just felt very judgmental. Especially someone like me. I was 18 years old, believe it or, more, believe it or not, 18 years old, and I was 35 kg. Yeah. Oh, it's 35 yes. kg to uh, pounds. I'm going to look it up, actually. Once look it up. Look it up. Yeah. 35 like 98 pounds or something like that 77 pounds there you go I at, was 18? at 18 years old I, I was probably five foot as well um oh my gosh okay very small yeah so i was like i didn't really enjoy the gym mentality i felt like mm -hmm. i was getting charged you know and uh and then I found bodyweight training. I found calisthenics. I didn't know it was called calisthenics at the start. So I left the gym and I just started doing push-ups, pull-ups, dips, squats, just mm -hmm. standard bodyweight training. Yeah. Ended up seeing that there's a whole sport about it. And next thing you know it, I'm trying to teach. I taught myself everything, how to like 
everything. Taught myself how to muscle up, how to handstand, how to do crazy tricks. And this was, I think it was 2014, 13. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't know what Instagram was for. So yeah. I was just posting videos on Instagram of me learning how to do things. And my videos ended up going viral. And then I started getting invited to competitions. And that's how my career started. So it was just like more of an inspiration thing for me. I was like, I was trying to change my life, trying to change my mindset and everything. And then ended up being my life, you know? That's um, what's up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. It's crazy. And I didn't end up going to jail. Ended up getting lucky. Not going to go too much detail, but ended Don't up getting lucky. It. And mm-hmm. um, yeah, I would say I would say bars and fitness saved my life, bro. 100%, man. I would, that's a, I would that's still be doing the same shit. I would still be in the same shit. Gang life, um, selling shit, robbing shit, hurting people, and it was the more. It was more to, to me. It was more the mindset. The mindset changed a lot more. You yeah, know? It's, I ended up knowing the purpose of my life, and the purpose of my life was inspiring people to work out and to yeah. get up off their offices and do something for for themselves. You know. Mm-hmm. Seriously, yeah. hey, you know, you know, it's one thing I will say. At least. At least you, uh, how do I say it? At least you figured it out <laughs> earlier than later. Because like 18, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, because there's some people who still do it till like maybe their 30s and 40s and stuff. Like you, you, you kind of like gave yourself that reality check at 18. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like, that's that's a good thing, you know. You did, yeah, for real. I'll, I'll be real, man. If it wasn't, if I didn't get caught doing what I was doing, I probably would be doing the same thing now. But because I got caught and it was like, you're going down, Jay. You're going to go down mm-hmm. um, or change your life. I ended up changing my life. And that was the choice. You know, that's what's up, man. I, I, the, once again, like, yeah, uh, just I've only uh, met you like, like talk to you through Twitter spaces and stuff. And through that time, you know, you seem like, like I said, very genuine guy and everything. I'm really proud of like, you know, where you are at now, obviously. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. And honestly, mm-hmm. it means a lot getting the support from you. We only just met each other through Twitter, so it's just yeah. a, a, like a, an honor to just get so much support for someone like you, man. And mm-hmm. you know me, I always like to give back. Seriously. And you know, and, and one other thing, too, that you've been starting, I don't know if you started uh, maybe in the last few years or whatever, but you got into the boxing thing, right? And I just yes, want to say, I like, did. what? So from, you know, obviously doing the calisthenics, right? Killing it there. Where is that transition, you know, starting to get into the boxing ring? What, what um, you, you know what? See, I've always, I've always loved a little scrap. I've always loved to mm-hmm. fight. Um, yeah. I've, I've got real bad small man syndrome. You know, I've always got this mm-hmm. thing where I'm, I'm the smallest, but I've got to prove to the world that I'm, I'm the biggest. You mm-hmm. know, um, I love fighting. I love the art of, 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 of boxing. I love the art of just any combat sports. Um, the thing that made me fell in love with boxing um, was influencer boxing. I saw this and it gave an opportunity to influencers to to kind of showcase if they can fight or not. So I was like, mm-hmm. oh, I would love to be part of this. Um, yeah. Ended up having, uh, I think it was three fights, three fights, semi-professional, won them all, uh, won, won by knockout. Um. And then Mams hit me up and was like, "Yo, we'd love you on uh, we'd love you on Misfits." And I was like, "Yeah, damn, yeah, okay, let's do this." Um, and then a year later, I had my debut, um, against Pully Arif, and yeah, it, that that's where the journey started, bro. That's and so- you know what? I'm just I'm just like a, I'm honored and I'm I'm glad to be able to inspire the inspire people the transition of changing from one sport to another or one life to another you know and mm. now it's become my life now boxing is my life legit yeah um so yeah it's crazy bro that's what's up man i mean and and what is it man did man hit you up like what is it? how do i explain this so when, when you when you heard about misfits right and was it just because like man's kind of hit you up or did you know about misfits before then I just saw KSI um fight Logan Paul and then Logan Paul two and yeah. then I saw um I think it was the first one with Salt Pappy when he was fat Salt Pappy and because oh, yeah. I know Salt Pappy personally were from the same place Philipp- Philippines it was just like wow you got loads of influencers fighting each other and it's on a big platform and they're getting paid this is amazing yeah and they're mm-hmm. inspiring people they're inspiring kids there's so many kids watching it. This is amazing, man. Um, so I was just like, I want in, I want in, and um, ended up hitting up Mams, 
and Mams hit me back up and was like, yeah, I, I want to get you in. And we've kind of got a mutual friend, me and Mams, and yeah, it's, it's just really good, man, to just get inside and get involved. That's uh, that's cool to hear. And, you know, obviously, since you're very involved in the influencer boxing scene and everything like that, right? How do you see, like, the future playing out for the scene? For the scene, I think you're going to... Hard one, bro. I yeah. think you you guys, you the fans are going to find out there's so much to do within the combat sport industry for influencer boxing. There's so much more coming. I'm not going to release anything. Because mm -hmm. I, I can't. Yeah. But you're going to so much more. Like, for example, it started off two versus two. And now there's um, girls fighting and there's guys fighting and there's bloody weight categories. And now there's two versus one. I think sooner or later you're going to see way more exciting things coming soon. Who knows? You might see MMA. Who knows? Yeah, I Mams did talk about a little bit about seeing Misfits MMA. That would be very exciting. Considering yeah. if they like, you know, start platforming that, that'll be crazy. Um, one thing too about Misfits, right? By the time I upload this, this will, uh, what is it? Misfits 13 will already happen. But this Saturday is Misfits 13, right? And I want to ask you, right? Since there's a tournament coming up and, you know, there's a few, a uh, few fights from the tournament, what do you think about the tournament idea overall? I think the tournament is sick, man. I think mm -hmm. that it's good that you have, you know, uh, pros, pros or someone or or high level amateurs, yeah, in the scene, and I'm gl I'm glad that it's kind of split a little bit because mm -hmm. it's just a bit a little bit unfair putting an average influencer with someone that's had you know forty amateur fights, you know, and thirty amateur fights and and ABA champions and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think that the tournament is amazing. I think it's sick, and you you see mm -hmm. a real. You'll see the real difference between influencer boxing and 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 the tournament. The tournament is probably going to be more amateur. I think it's going to be more amateur based. Yeah. You're going to see real high level skill. You know, I'm really excited to see uh Yodi Gang versus Little Cray Cray. Um, me and Cray Cray have been following each other for a long, long time. Um, I think it's because he loves calisthenics. So yeah. I'm really excited to see Little Kraker and Yudi Gang. And Yudi Gang's pretty skilled as well. And you know what? All of them, everyone in the tournament is pretty skilled. And it's it's gonna be exciting, man. It's pretty exciting. No, for sure. It'll be it'll be exciting to watch. That that's the fight. I think that fight will be that fight specifically might be fight of the night. Yudi Gang uh, Kray -Kray. Bro, by oh, far crazy. By far the fight of the night is gonna be Little Kraker versus Yudi Gang. By far. By 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 it's, far. It's, it's crazy. Main event. I've watched some of uh Cray Cray's fights. I saw some of his street beefs and everything like that. And I mean, he's also like he's also five foot four. And the and yeah. the and the way that he like, you know, uh is very slick and how he moves and everything, it's just crazy to me. I'm like, Jesus. Is it, like, do you know what it is with him? He's five foot four and he's got experience, bro. Mm -hmm. He's got experience in the ring in high level amateurs yeah. and and street beef. So that that's what's given him a little bit more of an edge, like he he knows he's got at, uh, he's at a disadvantage with his height, so he's just got high level experience, you know, which is Crazy. fucking amazing. Even yeah. little, uh, and even Baby Hulk, Baby Hulk's five foot, he's even smaller, you know. But he's got yeah. he's a pro MMA fighter and coming out coming against you know Joey Knight, who's pretty much an am uh, a high level amateur fighter as well, as well. So it's mm -hmm. it's amazing, bro. Yeah, no, it's crazy. There's a like I said, a lot of names in this um tournament. It's just I'm yeah. very excited to see what all happens. And I mean, I, I have a hot take about the little like tournament. Um, I'll give like my little personal opinion. I don't know if you would agree yeah. or disagree with this. So just let me hear your opinion about this. I feel like the winner of Yuddy Gang and Lil Cray Cray will win the tournament. Oh, a thousand percent. Yes. Okay. I, I agree. Mm -hmm. I I've I've said it. I've said it so many mm -hmm. times. It's only yeah. because there's there's that. There's there's levels, bro. There's levels. Seriously, mm -hmm. there's levels to boxing, and I think that fight is probably the hardest fight. You know, I do want to see Joey Knight get put to the test. I do feel like he's got skills as well. I do want to see him put to the test. Um, and he's representing he's representing UK, bro. So I want to see him put to the test. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, that fight is gonna be fucking fire, bro. 
it's crazy because Joey Knight is on the same side of the bracket as uh, Yeti and Cray Cray. So, like, if he does win this fight against Baby Hulk, right, he's going to have he's a gonna real be test fighting, yes. one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going to be gonna fighting one of them test. if he wins against Baby Hulk. Mm -hmm. No, it's exciting, this whole tournament. Oh, is there a fighter that you would want in this uh, in this tournament instead of some people? Like, is there something that you really wanted to see in, in like, in the Misfits? Like, actually, I should say Do I want to fight the or do I want to see? Oh, uh, who who we want to see fight in Misfits? Actually, I should I should rephrase. Wait, let me rephrase that question. Sorry, is there a fighter that you would want to see fight in Misfits? No, really? Okay, so no, no one knew. So you I like, like you like how see, it is right now? Mm -hmm. I would like to see more featherweights. That's what okay. I want to see. I want to okay. see more one two five or even one thirty, uh, influencers coming to fight. I want to see more Fair. of them. Mm -hmm. I want to see more lighter people because having lightweight as the lightest category is absolutely insane because there's, there, there's a skill bracket between uh, under lightweight, bro, mm -hmm. and we're so super fast, bro. Yeah. And it's, it's like so many knockouts. Are, but look at Anue, for example. You know who Anue is? The ja the Japanese super bantamweight champion of the world? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I know who you're talking about. The, the, uh, bro, he's insane. He's, he's insane. Yeah. But I feel like there's so many featherweights as well. Those Mexicans, man, I, I feel like, yeah, I feel like we need more featherweights in, in Misfits, man. We need sure. just one more category under lightweight, even if it's featherweight or super yeah. featherweight, whatever it is. We need a li li lighter ca category. 100%, dude. I'd love to see that. What about your dream opponent? Who's your dream opponent uh, that you'd love to fight? Honestly, anyone of my actual weight, because I'm, I think I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of fighting people heavier than me bro i'm very i'm sick and tired fighting people heavier than me yeah um i'm used to it i'm used to it by now i've had five fights four wins one loss and it all been five to ten kilos heavier than me and wow. yeah my last one he yeah. was five he was he was 10 kilos heavier than me mm -hmm. so I, I would like to fight someone my weight so i can sure. actually show the true potential of what i what i got to offer you know because bro mm -hmm. i can't i can't be bulking 24 7 man Exactly. Like I get I get on the scales and I'm bulking and I'm still five to ten kilos lighter than everyone else. So yeah. Um no, the, totally yeah, fair. Anyone, anyone my weight. Anyone my weight. Totally fair. All right. I'm gonna go uh do this uh, one segment. All right. After the segment, I got one last question. But usually yeah. what the segment is, right? It's called a one word segment. I just say a name and you have to describe this uh fighter in one word. <laughs> okay. All okay, right. okay. This is kind of a long list, so I want to give you that warning <laughs> before. Okay, I'll go, uh, you, I'll go you, I'll go you. All right, man. All right, first one up, Dean the Great. Great. Argentinian King. Nah. Yeah, all right, fair enough then. Fox G. Good kid. Good kid. Okay, okay. Tasmanian Devil. Even though, even though that's two words. It's, that's good fine. We'll make exception. Kid. We'll make exceptions to the rule. He's a good All kid. Right. Tasmanian Devil. Pinoy. Okay. I don't know what that means, but I'll go along with that. That means Filipino, bro. That Filipino? Means Filipino? All right. That's, res then that's respect. <laughs> Most wanted. <laughs> Madman. Madman. <laughs> nah, shout out most. A-pop. Forehead. Forehead. Okay. All right, then. Yachty Gang TV. Skill. Skill? Little Cray Cray? Skills. Yeah. Joey Knight. Slick. Slick? All right, then. We just got a few more. We'll lead Sharks. Big Mouth. Big Mouth. All right. Adam Salo. Old school. Old school. All right. And then last one, right? The CEO, Mam Taylor. Fucking G. All right, no, nah, I'm always show love to Mam Sailor. That guy's the goat. Mam right. is a fucking G, bro. I love, I love yeah. him, bro. Yeah, I've never met him in person as of yet, and like, I I can't wait to meet him in person. Seriously, he's 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 been very nice to me. Um, even outside of like uh Twitter, I mess when I mess him in DMs, he's been very nice to me. So I mean, shout out Mam. Seriously, at the end of the day, he's shout he's given a lot Mams, of people bro. he's given a lot of people opportunities and changes people's lives. 
So it's like oh, people definitely. like that, those people need to be protected. So shout out to Mams, dude. Seriously. He's the boxing there. dad. That's what he is. He's the boxing dad. <laughs> the boxing dad. <laughs> you know, you know what's funny? Someone said that uh in, in like this uh misfits community, he's like the principal. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like so, the principal, definitely like the principal. You, you're out of line. Funny. He'll he'll tell you you're out of line. That's funny, but I just want to ask one last thing, right? Uh, is there any announcements or anything special that you want to announce before we wrap it up here? Um, I will be back sooner than you lot think. I will be back very very soon. I'm hoping to have at least two to three fights this year. This year, and we're in a, we're in March right now. Are we in March? Yeah, we're in March, middle of March. So already. we're in March. We're a week away from uh, Misfits Thirteen, As and I'm recording. definitely gonna I'm mm -hmm. definitely gonna be fighting another two to three more times this year. My next fight, I'm a hundred percent coming back with redemption, and it's gonna I'm gonna come back with a hard win. I'm gonna make sure I show people the skill set, and that I'm not. My last fight, everyone saw at this. I was a complete different person. I wasn't even there. Yeah. Um. So I want to show people that I, I can actually fight and I can actually box. Hell yeah, man. I can't wait. And for everyone who's still tuned into here, if you guys don't, if you guys want more interviews just like this, please subscribe for more content. The goal currently is to get to a thousand subscribers.